the energy business is going through radical change as, the, as society seeks to be less dependent on fossil fuels and more dependent on renewables. When you're carved out of an organization as a technology team, you need to set off and make your own way in life. We've now moved into a world where we are, albeit 100% in the public cloud. And I could have worried at the beginning about DXE because DXE hosted my infrastructure. They ran the data center. Now, either DXE could have chosen to hinder that or they choose to help us enable that. We moved a lot of our applications into the public cloud onto the infrastructure as a service level. It's the modernization and getting to that level of automation that gives me maximum reliability, maximum speed, maximum compliance, and of course for an organization like mine, which is dealing with critical infrastructure, maximum security. If I look at the current time period in 2020, I have 50% fewer severity one, two, three, and four incidents than I did a year ago. The other thing that DXC started to talk to me and my team about a new, more digitally orientated delivery model. And there were concepts like Agile and DevOps in there. It coincided us with a big project to move us off the old world Windows 7 landscape onto Windows 10. And we couldn't have done that alone. We needed the support of DXC quite heavily in that instance. The thing that was most important for me was the idea of service ownership. So on my side, we had somebody responsible for a service. On the DXC side, we had something responsible for a service. And at that point, a number of the DXC colleagues may well see problems before even I see them, or they may see from a DXC point of view opportunities before I even see them. This technology journey from the old world to the new world, I've never done it before. Having friends and partners along the way who've been there, seen it and done it once already is invaluable. I need a partner who understands the technology and the industry context that I'm working in. I'm ambitious, I am optimistic, but as I sit here towards the end of 2020, I'm looking back and thinking, whoa, we got a lot further than I thought.